is Sonia with Artsy Solutions and welcome to the Makers Creative Collab um, for December and our theme is Ornamental and this collaboration is hosted by PM Artist Studio or Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists and um, so we had uh, we were to create something you know I guess for like display or whatever and we had choices of we had to include certain types of papers and I included coffee filter and for my fabric I used uh, cheesecloth and all that shines I used glitter uh, and for media I used a combination of sprays and paint and ink because I distressed some edges and some stuff and then uh, for organic I used some mossy stuff and I also have some pine needles from outside in my backyard and then for the techniques I've used some decal and for the texture I've used embossing and I also have some beads in here so let me just go ahead and show you this is basically you know as you can see like a little shadow box and it, it's still slightly damp <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and film it anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up uh, gently <laughs> and I'll just kind of walk you through each little section okay so to start out with this little area here I have like a little it's supposed to be like a sweater and a toboggan and that's my uh, uh, embossed I had some embossed papers and so I just hand drew out like a little sweater and a uh, toboggan and then just cut it out and added it to some black cardstock and then I've got this little letter C just to add some character and here's some stamped mousseline from a previous project and then one of the Tim Holtz uh, numbers uh, I added that on there and this little Christmas tree honestly this and there's a few other little uh, dough ornaments my mom and I had made these way back in I think maybe 2002 or 2003 and I had completely forgotten about them and I was digging for some Christmas stuff for this and I came across it and I just thought oh my goodness I can't believe it actually lasted that long because this is like this is flour and water you know <laughs> so yeah it actually lasted after all those years okay and then we have this little Santa mill and it's part of a little grouping that I gotten from the Dollar Tree so coming on down here and I think this is probably one of my favorite sections um, I have some pine which is from outside and I had the bright idea to put it in the oven because I heard that if you put it in the oven and for like just a few minutes it'll kill any kind of bugs or anything well yeah it turned the color of my pine needles but that's fine because that's what paint is for and then I just added some little Dollar Tree uh, fillers these little fake pines and pine cones and here's a little uh, bead so I made this it's supposed to be like Santa's bag of gifts and I have some um, it's a coffee filter and then I stamped the word joy on it and then I just took some twine well I filled it with that moss took and uh, twisted it up added some blue uh, twine on there and tied it up and then just kind of added it on here and then this little uh, this is kind of like a rug is what I'm calling it I had ordered this off of eBay like five or seven years ago I'm not even real sure it was when I first kind of started my crafts and stuff anyway it's made of I don't know if this is crochet or I don't know what it is it's some type of a fabric but I liked it and I just thought it's very fitting for this little piece right here then I just added another one of those little coins that, that says 25 maybe you can see that or not and then I just added a Dollar Tree uh, Christmas tree that was part of the little Santa mail and some of these other little figures and then these three the trio Christmas tree trio all that is is I just cut out three triangles with uh, cardboard I added some white gesso and some st not stickles but some uh, some glitter glue 
and then just uh, sprinkled a little bit of glitter on there to make it even more shiny you know and then our here's another one of the little play-doh ornaments that I had made a little candy cane and then the Merry Christmas basically this was just a sticker and I added it to some black cardstock and then to another piece of white cardstock cut this center piece out three times uh, using these uh, Nestabilities Labels 25 die I cut those out three times and uh, glued them together to make them a little bit thick and then we have our deckled uh, piece of paper it's the 12 days of Christmas the song and it came from the graphic 45 paper pad collection uh, it's, a, it's an old uh, paper line and so I just kind of crumpled it up and distressed it and added it to this little uh, uh, what do you call it? Clothes pin. I just thought that that would be pretty cool to have something that functioned on here. And then we've got these little Tim Holtz uh, alchemy bottles. And I just filled them with some fake snow fillers from the Dollar Tree. And these little silver things came from the Dollar Tree too, I think. And I just added them in there and used some a hot glue gun. And I sprayed it a little bit with some blue spray from Bakers and Crafters. And then I took some, I think I took hot glue, the hot glue gun and went around the edges. And then sprinkled on some, uh, what do you call it, glitter. <laughs> and then I've got this very cute little spoon. I've had this for a couple of years. I'd gotten this one from, uh, off of Etsy. When I think of the name of it, I'll just put it up uh, in writing on the screen. And then here's another one of my little Play-Doh, not Play-Doh, but one of my dough Christmas ornaments. And then I just have a little soda can tab, another sticker. And this sticker is actually on one of the Tim Holtz uh, little, little clear things. Uh, they kind of lift up. Anyway. Here is an, a Christmas tree I got in like a set from Walmart and um, I just added this one here, added a little bit of paint. Here are some more pines from outside in my backyard and then the fake pines and the little uh, pine cones. And then I just added another sticker, added it to cardstock. Here's another bead and then here are some uh, little set from the Dollar Tree and then here's another one of the little clay things that I had made now this was actual clay this wasn't one of the dough clays that I made this was actual uh, clay and then I just this I've had that for a while too <laughs> so but yeah this is pretty much it and um, this little old, this cute little frame is from Prima and it's sitting on top of a button it's a square button that has like a cute little Christmas message on there and I just thought that that setting would be cute and these little background papers are this one I think was a leftover from graphic 45 and this one I think was one of the hot buys from Walmart not Walmart but from uh, Michaels as well as this and I want to say this one's from DCWV. So, and I'm going to kind of turn it so you can see. I don't want to mess it up too much, so I'm going to kind of hold it like this. It just has like a white kind of snowy, supposed, well, it's supposed to be like a snowy kind of look to it around the sides. And I may later add like some. Um, something on it at the top you know just to kind of make it stand out whenever I hang it up that way it might look a little bit better or something I don't know but we'll see but yeah this is pretty much it guys so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, enjoy this hop and see what some of my other fellow collaborators uh, have made um, and I should have a card uh, the link where you can find the next video 
So, and, but there will be a link in the description where you can find all the collaborators. So if you guys like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my other videos and my blog and my social media sites. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching.